Hey guys, and welcome back to the Interceptor MTLC. So I'm back with another war video. So today this is Alliance War Season 17, number 10. We are against I Dragoni Italiani, or Italiani. Um, going into this war, we are five and four, and I have five deaths on the season. So obviously we're looking for a deathless war. Um, so we're taking path three with this vision on it. We're taking that um, Modoc. Uh, and then when we go over to the middle, we're taking section four with Korg um, and Killmonger. And then we were scouted to help out with the boss. Or sorry, no, this war actually wasn't my bad. That must have been just me showing the globals, the flow global. Um, but we are taking in a little weird team today. So we're taking in Quake for the first time in Alliance War. Um, so we're going for uh, Quake... Uh, Human Torch and Namor. Based on the path I was assigned, I was a little confused on why I was told to bring in Human Torch. Um, it must have been for some like weird alternative. And then later in the day, I actually got instructed to use Human Torch in a fight. I think I sh I thought I should have been using uh, Quake for. Uh, but we'll talk about that when that starts. So let's go in, and this is actually rank 4 vision, not that it really matters uh, when you're taking anyone on this node with Quake, uh, it, when you're making no contact, it doesn't really matter at all who it is. Uh, so we're going to just add in a little bit of attack boost because health boosts, doesn't, health boosts do not matter whatsoever when using Quake. Um, so yeah, let's do it. I think I'm just going to use, yeah, that makes sense, just that small one, but not the 10%, I don't think. Attack and health. Yeah, that's a smart move. Um, so we're going to go for Quake for this fight. Honestly, my, my, my three, 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 three champs that I'm currently running, the, all three of these champs work for uh, Psychic Thorns. Um, but Concussion actually shuts down uh, the power gain that this guy gets. Uh, so we're just playing full Quake style. I've been practicing it a lot, and I think I'm good enough to do it in war now. So... Got him quarter down. Now it's less than a third. Um, even like a rank three six star, I could have very easily taken on this node. So see, I haven't even taken a blocked hit yet. That's how easy this is. Honestly, I was kind of looking for fights to push me and be a little hard, but neither or this one wasn't hurt at all with quake we get a few quake fights in the next war as well so look forward to that but that guy goes down so um nah pretty easy fight yeah ideal fight with quake is zero and zero so that works now we have to take this modok i originally didn't want to take this modok um but i had to take it with namor uh, the nodes on here the only node that's really annoying is limber other than that it's an extremely standard fight but basically our strategy for this is to just intercept a ton uh, because he cannot actually uh, auto block any intercepts. So let's go through that, a little boring. Um, what what boost did I use? Invulnerability, that's smart. Um, so now we're going into this fight. I wish I could have used it in the last fight, uh, but I didn't need it. So, uh, so there, you're gonna get auto blocked. <laughs> a lot in this fight but when you are hitting him you're doing such a high amount of damage that it doesn't really matter so we're baiting special ones here uh not like we're running suicide so it's not really detrimental to us but we want to throw special ones in this fight to make a lot of contact um but i actually get in a light knight intercept there Ooh. now we're gonna go back and straighten my special one i believe no special two actually so luckily enough, we only got one stun, so we didn't waste that much limber. Uh, but I don't know what it was about this fight, but I was just nailing every single intercept I tried. Um, so there, we're going to go for another one, a special one to kill. And that fight that should have been rather difficult was actually quite easy, so not bad. Quake's also a great option for that fight, but um, I'm not comfortable enough to full fight fully stun immune champions, so not quite yet. Now we're going into section two and I am boosting up of course. Uh, so let's just skip that part. So yeah, the bio my boost by the way, because this is the first war 
you see I have a six star guillotine 2099 my profile um, so I didn't really read off the nodes here at all oh I do right here um, so it's limited immunity and uh, boost buff armor up so the whole reason that they put Cory here was to try to bait you into using quake because she does work very well for this node uh, but I actually have a counter that works for both this node and the next node and that is name over both fights so pretty good um, we want to push the special two against Gorg for sure you can very easily bait uh, fully bait special two or special one and fully bait it but I just don't really really feel up to it um, in hindsight I probably should have gone for double medium in that combo there just because the damage was getting uh, reversed anyways, but then now we evade that special one. Going for my own special two, maybe? Maybe I hold for my special three. Yeah, special three, that's probably smart. Um, and I believe that when I'm throwing this, I'm at like 28 charges. I'm, I'm not positive, I, I might have been. So I can go for a second special three. Uh, but just look how much that does. That does 20k. So now I'm at 29. I know he's stun immune, so a double medium will get me to the special three. I end up not throwing it just because I didn't want to push him to his special three. Uh, but we're just going to end up cycling special twos until he's dead here, so it doesn't really matter. And one special three is more than enough to do what you need to do with Namor anyways. So now we're going into the next fight. This is the Killmonger on path four, or path six. Um, looks like I was taking a second to move up. So it's basically the exact same node, but the only uh, adding thing is that they took out limited immunity and they added no retreat. It's a little bit more annoying. Uh, but this is actually a rank 4 Killmonger. Of course, we don't know that. Let's see the fight, 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 fight scouting it because I don't know the exact PI of every champion uh, on every node. Um, but the basics of our strategy here are just to push the special 2 as often as possible. And uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to ignore the no retreat damage because I'm killing him so fast that it doesn't really matter, matter if we take no retreat damage. So, um, also, uh, the fact that Namor has those bleeds on his special, or sorry, on his uh, medium attacks means it, it actually makes it a lot easier for me to push to special three cons or special two constantly. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, there we get him to just above bar power, so we're going to throw our special 3 for some extra damage, as well as to try to push him to the special 2. Okay, um, huge special 3 again. Another 16k damage. Throw a special 1, I was ready for that one. Um, now we just want to go again. So we are taking the no retreat damage. We're taking we are taking the no retreat damage, but when we do it on our on evading his special one, uh, we can get, we can actually go straight in after it and uh, counter. I don't know. I can't talk right now. It's really weird. Um, so for this fight, uh, I was instructed to use Human Torch. I thought Quake would have been better, um, but it turns out that I actually missed a tag where he says, "If you'd like, you can also use Quake for this fight," but either works. Um, and uh, let's say I wish I'd seen that tag because going into this fight, as soon as I started and I was going into the fight, I realized, yeah, I'm screwed. Um, limited immunity I forgot about to be completely uh, even with this piece uh, in not inflicting those debuffs, unless this guy is like the most willing in the world to throw his special two. Uh, we're not getting this done, even with the invulnerability boost. Uh, but like going, going into the fight, it doesn't look like it's starting bad. But he's not going to throw a special three here, so I'm going to try to push him back. It doesn't end up working. Um, so we tank a special three. Luckily, we have three special threes we can tank in this fight due to our invulnerability boost. So it's not the biggest deal. So they use special three, and they're actually still unblockable here, uh, but we end up getting it still. Uh, we end up getting hit twice, and we are still degening from salve. Uh, but right now, we're in the corner, and he is not throwing anything, so he's going to throw his special two here, fully unblockable. Um, the only alternative where there was trying to get to my special two, but you actually can't gain power fast enough to get to your special two in this fight when you are degening from salve, or salve, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, unfortunately, it didn't work. Now we're going to go back into the fight with Quake. Um, in hindsight, or maybe the next time I see Warlock on this node, I'm going to use Quake because uh, I actually 
didn't realize I forgot again that this was debuff immune and I ended up quaking a debuff immune fight so I guess I am ready for debuff immune fights I didn't think I was uh, but I guess I am so we are almost done through the 25 seconds and we played full quake we haven't we have given a mistake or two but it's not the biggest thing ever um, we got through that and we're still at 100% health um, we will let this tick down and then one more set I believe and then this guy's gonna go down uh, I parried there just to make sure nothing fishy happened right at the end of the fight but now we're gonna go in for a combo um, oh no he just goes down from the quake charges so that is gonna be my last fight for this war I hope you guys enjoyed the war we ended up taking home the victory by 40 points um, they had a better diversity, but we did better on attack. We only died 22 times. They died 24. Uh, so we both did actually really well. Uh, that was our best war since I've been with the Alliance. 22 deaths is really nice. Uh, but, but, but that is going to be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next video. Uh, as far as, like, war record now, so we are now 6-4, and four, uh, and we have a uh, 6 deaths on the season. So... At least we're, we're maintaining the same number of wins as deaths, so I guess it's all right. Uh, but that is going to be it. Um, and yeah, with that win, that puts us back into Platinum 1 safely. So I actually took this recording 12 hours after the war ended to make sure the results were finalized. Uh, but yeah, 